Okay, let's wrap up our navigation menu with one last thing. So if we were to shrink this down to mobile size, we're no longer seeing the hamburger nav. It's kind of gone away and it's because of the CSS work we did. Okay, so let's get that back. And the way we can do that is by targeting what's going on there. So if I right click and I inspect that invisible thing right there, I can now kind of see it and it's this button element here and I believe it's because we made something transparent in there so we're gonna need to go in here and add color set it to white and maybe add background and set that to white yeah so we're gonna target those items there those are called icon bars let's see if this will do it so I'm gonna go over to our style sheet so that's under style.css under your custom theme file inside of themes and WP content. So I double click that and just right over here I'm going to say dot main dash custom dash nav and then we'll say dot we need to get the names of those things. I'm going to check in here. They're called icon bars. So let's go ahead and add dot icon bar and then our curly braces sorry for the scrolling there so dot main dash custom dash nav and then space and then dot icon bar and we're gonna say color white and we'll say background color white so let's save those Okay, and then I'm going to go over here now and try this again. So I'm going to go over here, refresh the page, and shrink this down. And there we go. Now we've got those nav menus showing. But the problem is when we click on them, nothing happens. So we need to address that next. So let's do that really quick. We can do that with one line of code. The reason why that's not happening is that that component works using JavaScript. JavaScript's another language that we haven't really utilized yet. And so we need to import Bootstrap's JavaScript capability to make that happen. And it creates those drop down type graphics um, and kind of slide down graphics and things like that. So we can do that really easily with one line of code. We're going to add it right here above our style in queuing. So right up here we're going to say wp underscore in queue underscore scripts and then in parentheses we'll say bootstrap dash js we'll just name it that and then comma and then we need to get the URL. So the way we can do it is just like we did with this we can find the CDN link so if we go to Google and search Bootstrap CDN, and you'll see that first one is by Max CDN. So I'll click that, and this is what I want right here. I'm going to grab this. I'm just going to grab it from the forward slashes, not the colon and not the HTTPS. So I'm just going to copy that chunk right there, and make sure you're copying the exact same version, version 3.3.6. You can change yours manually. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to drop it into those quotes. And then there's one other catch. I know I'm throwing a lot at you, but the thing is, in order for this bootstrap to work, we have to import another library called jQuery. And luckily, WordPress already has jQuery stored inside of its files over here. So all we have to do to queue it up before this loads is add one more thing to this array. And we'll just do this, or sorry, to these parameters. We do comma, and then we say array, and in parentheses, we'll say jQuery, just like that. And then use a semicolon. Again, so how did I know to do that? If you read the documents and you kind of look this up, you'll see. And so the, the other thing I want to point out is I'm doing all this, and I'm showing you all these things because... These are some of the main kind of components of composing a theme. That's my objective here is to show you all of the main functions you're going to run into time and time again and show you the same patterns of coding that create 
um, WordPress themes. So if I save that now, and I go over here, and I refresh the page, we have an error. So let's see what's going on here. And I've got an S right here. I want to get rid of that, so it just says script. So save that. And let's try this again. So go over here and refresh. And just really quick while we're cleaning this file up, I also want to just make sure that we go through and change these quotation marks to single quotes. It seems that that's kind of more of the best practice. At least that's the way I see some of the other default WordPress themes. So I'm just going to do that really quick. It shouldn't take too long. Just anywhere you have double quotes, change those to single quotes for now. There's a difference between single quotes and double quotes in PHP and in a lot of programming languages and you can kind of read about them or take our courses on PHP but for now we're just going to do this to kind of clean it up and follow the defaults Okay, so I'm going to go through here and just make sure everything looks good. And save it. So let's save our file and then go over here to our website, refresh, make sure everything's working. And let's see if this navigation menu works now. Okay, so this is the mobile size. And there we go, perfect. Now we can see what it looks like. This is what it would look like on a mobile phone or kind of an iPhone size. This is more of like an iPad size right here. So it's working great. So we're getting that animation because we loaded in that one line of code right there. We're basically pulling in the bootstrap JavaScript with this chunk of code. And we're also saying right here, hey, we want to pull in the jQuery library. That's just another JavaScript library. We want to pull that in first and then load the Bootstrap library because Bootstrap is dependent on jQuery.